Welcome to VDL Fuel Systems. I'm Dan Vanderlei and this is Dan's Tech Tips. Today we're going to talk about stuck pump nozzles. Now the way you generally discover you got a stuck pump nozzle is that either the engine's real hard to start or won't start at all or you have a stumble on acceleration. You double check this by taking the air cleaner off or, or bringing it back in, take the hood off or whatever you got to do to get to where you can see the pump nozzle and by activating the throttle shaft which activates the pump arm or by manually overriding the pump arm you'll see that no fuel is coming out your pump nozzle. It also should feel real stiff and a, a little side note here sometimes that real stiff pump arm will cause your throttle to stick too so all those are kind of indicators that you may have a, a stuck pump nozzle. The first thing we're going to do is talk about the fuel circuit, the fuel passage for the pump nozzle so that we understand all the different areas that we need to look at in trying to diagnose this problem. The fuel comes in through the fuel inlet of the fuel bowl into the fuel bowl and then gets into the pump housing area as it goes past this umbrella seal here. The umbrella check valve uh, needs to be of good integrity. You need to look at that and make sure that it's not uh, deteriorated and, uh, and what it will do if it's deteriorated is, is it won't reseal when the fuel is pushed back up when you activate the pump arm and it will just push back through these holes into the, f the uh, fuel bowl instead of sealing properly and forcing the fuel through this hole here and out into the metering block. So we check our umbrella valve to make sure the integrity of it is proper. If it's not, you can usually pick those up at a parts store. And then the fuel passes through the metering, into the metering block, entering into this hole here, travels up this channel, exits out the metering block at this hole, and into a matching hole in the main body travels into the main body, does a 90 degree turn, and comes up and goes out the pump nozzle. The second thing we need to check for is to make sure that our gasket is proper. It's at the right gasket and that it's installed correctly. You put the gasket up on the pins and look and make sure that the hole matches up. Some gaskets like these that we use have two holes so you can't get them on backwards, it'll go either way. But a lot of gaskets will only have one hole and if you're not careful you'll get it on backwards and that'll stop up the, the fuel passage and or you can have the wrong gasket and the hole will be offset. So just make sure that that hole lines up properly. The next thing that we're going to look for is uh, a stopped up uh, pump nozzle and you can just take your pump nozzle off and blow air through it. Now when you take the pump nozzle off, be careful that you don't lose your gaskets. There's a gasket under the screw head and then there's a gasket under the pump nozzle itself. Sometimes the gasket will, sometimes that gasket will stick to the pump nozzle and sometimes it will stick to the main body, but or it'll be loose there. Just make sure you don't lose that. You can take the screw out. This particular one, the gasket's stuck inside on both ends blow a little air through there or run a, uh, a, pin, a pin gauge or a, uh, a small drill the size of the pump nozzle which is stamped on the front and just make sure that that is uh, open and not stopped up. The next thing we're going to check for is the most common problem when you have a stopped up pump nozzle and that is that this needle that sits down in there, there's a check needle. It's a small either brass or uh, steel check needle pointed on one end, point always goes down and that goes into a, a brass seat. But this will get residue on it and when the fuel dries out, if it sits up for a, any extended period of time, and it'll just get stuck. And it's not a big deal but it won't let the fuel through and that is a big deal. Now in your main body you'll notice that there's a cutout on each side that allows the fuel to come up. So you can take a, sm a small scribe or a piece of wire or a small screwdriver and go in on that side and get to your needle. Just wiggle the needle and break it loose. That's all it has to do is just, just break it loose. 
put your finger over the top and activate the pump arm and listen for air or fuel to be bubbled up through there and you know everything is working like it's supposed to. The reason I say put your finger over it is, is because if it gets a good shot of fuel, it can blow that needle out, drop it down into the Venturi and into your engine and that's gonna cause you great concern and, and you're gonna be mad. But anyway, so uh, that should cure your, your uh, stuck pump nozzle. Take your screw, put it back onto your pump nozzle. That, that got my gasket loose, so you'll get a chance to see that. A lot of times you can hold it like that and make sure it doesn't fall off or place it onto the main body. Put it back on like that. Tighten it up. Now, when you're tightening this, it needs to be tight. You don't want that falling off and going down in your engine. But these zinc castings are not the strongest of castings, so be careful when you do that and don't strip out your casting. Hope that helps. If you have any other questions, uh, feel free to contact us through our website at vdlfuelsystems.com or call us directly at 251-443-5990.